Hello. I hope this sound comes through because I'm trying uh, to have a some sort of wind buffer on my little uh, DJI Osmo here. But I am exploring a trail I've never been on before and actually an area I haven't been to a lot. I'm on the Mountain Loop Highway and normally when I come on the Mountain Loop Highway I turn left in Darrington and this time I turn right and there's a lot of trails down here and a lot of access and so I'm just wanting to explore the forest some more. Maybe find uh, some oh something that uh, helps helps you understand how to find images with the forest because these forests again if you saw my last video just a lot of stuff and a lot of weight just chaos and so there there's different ways to find organization within that chaos so we'll kind of look around today to see if we can find anything but right now i haven't even left the parking lot and i'm just Oh man, it's the snow has hit the, the high mountains and I'm looking at one right now. It's just absolutely gorgeous against the blue sky. We've got some low clouds, some fog, so I don't know if that's going to get into the trees with some streaming sunlight or not. But it's going to be a gorgeous day and I am so excited to hit the trail. So let's get moving. One of the primary things you want to do when you are trying to create, organize, you know, find something organized, something that uh, makes sense of, out of all the chaos, is to isolate different subjects. And so what I've got here is a beautiful backlit branch with all this backlit moss on it. Absolutely gorgeous and it has a really interesting shape to it. And uh, I want to make sure I grab the photo before I lost any light because like I've said before you, you got to get the image when the light is on it or else um, you never know when it's going to disappear. But what I've done is uh, really tried to isolate all the light against something that's dark. So you kind of compose with the light in mind. How is the light hitting it? And since I want to really emphasize the backlit moss here, I've got all that backdrop you know, a lot of that, you know, there's still a little bit of light coming through, but almost the whole branch is, has a backdrop of that other trunk back there to make it nice and dark. That will really help bring out the moss in, in the image and really highlight the beautiful lighting, the beautiful shape of that, that branch. So think about that. Think about isolating certain features. Again, you know, we're looking at small things. I'm also kind of hoping I can find something, a bigger scene to help you through this, but, uh, and help me through this too, <laughs> but, you know, smaller scenes and looking at how the light is and how that light can help emphasize the shape and features of the forest. And it's just a really, really pretty image. torn I have my pack and I want to be able to put my camera in the pack at least my lenses and accessories are in there but I also don't want to miss any photos you know so I kind of want to keep the camera out and that's going to be a bit of a problem because it, it weighs heavy and and carrying it throughout this hike it's only about four miles round trip but um so I'm really kind of torn whether or not to put the camera in the pack or not one of the problems is you know after a while you start weighing well is that photo really worth putting taking out the pack taking out the camera setting up the tripod so let's give it a try a little while i'm gonna just carry the camera with me and uh see what i see because i don't want to miss anything 
but it's the same time because I've got you guys uh, the video camera in one hand with this tripod and this one in this hand so uh, let's see what we get first of all and uh, hopefully uh, it won't be too much of a, a bother throughout the day Glad I didn't put it away. I would I might have actually walked past this not thinking it was gonna be any good. But I found that there's this again light when you're the light is hitting this leafless maple and it's just covered with all this beautiful, beautiful moss. And the light is just hitting it, but it's not hitting the trees behind. Plus there's just a little bit of layer of mist to really kind of soften the background. The trees are right behind the maple tree, but they just kind of form just a non-descript uh, background for it and it's just really really pretty so uh, get, get a couple images here um, just to let you know that I'm, I'm, I'm using ISO 100 on, on all my images today uh, that's hence uh, and that uh, I'm gonna most a lot of times here I'm gonna be using a, a rather open aperture. There's not a lot of detail I want in the foreground or the background. Um, like right now it's a 7.1 aperture, at, which gives me uh, 1 16th of a second. So it, I do need the tripod today. And um, and just uh, just really exploring. One of the things I realized is I forgot my polarizing filter for this lens. But um, that's okay, I think I can manage without it. And yeah, we're just looking at the light and how the light is falling. And maybe that will be today's lesson is to look for where the light is falling on the images and how those, the subject matter and how those details of the forest, how they're lit and how everything, other things are not lit, how that can help you bring forth some organization, some ease of looking at the forest. So yeah, I think I've got this one in. Oh, I wanted to also tell you that um, my image stabilization is on, is off right now because of the tripod. And I have it on a two second timer, uh, just so it doesn't, because when you press the, sh the shutter, uh, it does still create um, some vibration in the camera, even, you know, even though this is a translucent mirror and doesn't have mechanisms to raise the mirror and everything, it's still uh, nicer to have that two second timer just to make sure everything steadies out both between images. That, is, that was really cool. Mm -hmm. photographing for the light. I've got, I was walking along and saw all these beautiful spider webs backlit by the sun with the, the, and the leaves being backlit by the sun also. It's just really, there's so many compositions within here. Right now I'm working on one. It's going to be a little difficult because the spider web I'd love to have in focus also. But I might just go with one that's out of focus because <laughs> it's getting a little hard. But what helps is that I've, again, has something in shadow behind it. So everything is highlighted in my what I want highlighted what the spider web the leaf the little droplet on the, the branch so uh, gosh this is this is a uh, kind of difficult because I'm focusing right on the front leaf and the the spider web <laughs> just just far enough out that it's not completely in focus so let's, let's give this one just another try here and see if I can get this and uh, because I'm starting to lose the light on it. And that might do it. I'm also going to grab one where it is completely out of focus. But, uh, but yeah, I'm losing the light and I'm going to have to move on to the next really cool image. So uh, I'll show you the series when in, well, right now I guess.
you see that blob right about, you know, right up here? See that blob? That's a bald eagle just sunning himself in the, the tree. Just, oh wow, how beautiful is that? Oh my gosh. Darn right, I changed my lens on the photo of that. That is just amazing. That is it beautiful? I don't know what, uh, what mountain that is. I'll have to find out. I'll put it in the, the video when I do. But uh, this is just beautiful. There's just so much. So glad I came out today. is absolutely stunning I was just oh my gosh um, I was just walking along and there's there's still a lot of moisture in this forest uh, it was it was just raining yesterday so um, I, I found some leaf, the branches little twigs that are backlit and they're all wet and glistening and then hanging off of one of them is just a little piece of, of moss and it's back it also is backlit it just adds, it's just so pretty. So again, you know, keep your eyes open for, especially, you know, your eye is attracted to light. So when there's something, you're going through something that's somewhat dark and all of a sudden you stop and your eye notices something, look at it further. It might just be a fabulous image waiting for, waiting for you to create. And uh, wow, this is, this is just so pretty. There's great moss and oh wow. You're looking up is amazing. It's and the birds are twittering and I hear the river. What a great, great day. So again. I was walking along and my eye caught a glimpse of all those glistening little twigs coming off of a of a tree and wow there's just some really cool stuff uh, I saw like one tree across the little stream here that uh, had some really solid tree trunks and then every all the glistening limbs coming off of it but even before that are a lot of uh, little twigs and little branches coming off with draping moss, uh, I think we call it old man's beard. And it's just, it's still chaotic, but if you focus in on that, let everything again go in the background, go darker. And cause that's what I've got is I've got dark forest across the stream behind those twigs. And, the, and even though you've got all these patterns and it seems like chaos, you've got, but you've got patterns. And that's another lesson you can take is if you're, you, you can find pattern, you know, pattern helps your brain make sense of things. If it sees a pattern, it knows it's comfortable and, and can stay comfortable. But then what's really cool is when you throw something in that's against the pattern. So I've got all these branches coming in this way, but then the hanging moss and lichens coming woof, and down and also doing their own little curves. And it really makes for an interesting photograph.
like we're at the end of the trail, but <clears throat> still looks like there's some really great images. I mean, there's beautiful reflections here. Kind of hanging around a little bit. Um, I'm hoping the sun comes out behind the tree and lights up the little swampy area over here. There's a stump with some trees growing out of it. I think it would be a really, really pretty picture. But right now, because there's no light on it, there's no way to separate those little trees from the background. Really hoping it hits. I may have to just, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna wait around a little bit longer and see what happens with the sunlight. But uh, yeah, it'd be a perfect example of what I've been talking about is how the light can help you separate your images, the chaos from the rest of the chaos. So you get something a little bit more simple that's lit up while the rest of your scene is dark. So um, fingers crossed. If not, I'll probably, uh, I'll have to remember to come back here. Probably when the sun's a little bit higher in the sky. I probably could have gotten it uh, if I'd gotten here maybe a half an hour earlier, but I was having too much fun on the trail and I didn't know it was here. So um, now I do and uh, hopefully, yeah, I can get the image. If not, I'm just gonna have to come back. I'm almost to the car and there are some more people coming in and out um, but I just wanted to say that play you know when you come out into the forest we're playing with the light in the forest forest is a mixture of lights and darks and it can all that chaos of growth everywhere so it really helps to find something that helps build uh, just lets the eye focus on it and work on on one thing or a couple of things uh, patterns or uh, the or highlights um, and when you are f photographing and you're photographing with the lights or for the, even with backlight really good idea would be to f to set your exposure for the bright areas. It's a lot easier to bring in details from the, your shadows as long as they're not clipped and than it is to bring in uh, really bright highlights. But So photograph for those. And besides, you know, when you're doing backlight, quite often what you want to do anyways is you want to focus in on those bright areas so and have something dark behind it to really highlight those bright areas without blowing them out. So. Yeah, photo, when you're your exposure, expose for the light, go ahead and let the shadows go dark, and you'll find some really amazing images in the woods. And with that, um, I hope you enjoyed the content of this video. Uh, if you did, give it a like. Uh, you know, I, I really hate begging for subscriptions, but you know, I really, I'm having fun with this and would love to see my channel grow a little bit more. Uh, I don't know if I have ideations of making a lot of making any money off of this, but uh, I do want to share with you everything that you know. I all my adventures and my, this journey through photography and journey through creation of art and the beauty of the natural world. So go ahead um, if you like the content of this this, uh, this video. Check out some of my other videos. If you like them, go ahead, give me a subscribe. And until next time, bye.